I wish I could sleep all day through to the end of May. June, July, August, September, then October, November to December, January and February, and March and April too. Because living life is tiring for me. None of you probably even knew that I'm sad, I'm mad, I'm suffering, depressed. I'm so numb that I don't even stress. My body is tired, my bones are brittle, my head is a mess, and I'm stuck in the middle of a choice. Life or death, I get to choose. If I choose death, I don't have to suffer anymore. No lying, no fake friends, no more walking into stores where my anxiety rises, overwhelmed by the smells and the eyes of the people I don't even know that well. If I choose death, I don't have to starve anymore. No hunger, no gagging, no more of eating is a chore. I will be free of self-malnourishment, or at least that's what they say. I don't know if I can bear to see another day. If I choose death, I don't have to cry anymore. No breakdowns, no self-harm, no more having to fake the charm that so many people see, but it's really just an imitation of who I wish to be. Or of who I used to be. But if I choose death, my mother will break. My father will hold back his tears, and my brother and sister will lie awake, wondering how could she do this? She seemed perfectly okay, when they never even noticed I was trapped in a world of gray. If I choose death, I think my friends might cry. They'll think of all the memories, knowing that they never got to say goodbye, to the girl who looked so happy in person and on screen, when in reality she was broken, but somehow that went unseen. Will people think I'm selfish if I throw my life away? Or will the people who don't like me be glad and celebrate the day? I'm stuck. I'm lost. I'm cracking. I don't know what to do. I take a step, I take a breath, and I look up at you. You're standing there with your curly hair, your brown eyes, with a gentle stare. You open your arms, I run, then collapse. You can't save me, even if you have all the maps that lead to a better, more safer place. This is my battle to fight. It's myself that I have to face. And I choose life. That's hard for me to admit, but I need to take the harder path that leads to a candle being lit. This candle represents me. Like a candle, I will burn, but slowly. And as I burn, I will bring light to people's lives, overcoming the dark and surely waters. I will teach my sons and daughters that they are never alone. You are never alone. We are never alone. I choose to tell the story of me, the kind, courageous, broken girl who will sail away on the sea. Like the sea, some days will be rough, some days will be calm, but instead of carrying the weight of the world in my palm, I will share it with the ones who care, the ones who love me. The ones who will lay with me under the shade of a perfectly green tree. By choosing life, I'll get to hear the birds chirp in the morning, sun shining, smell of coffee, spending the day outside exploring. I'll hug my mother, laugh with my father, hold my sister and brother, and my ancestors I will honor. I will embrace you, my best friend, my light, the person that helps me shine so bright. I will look in the mirror and love the girl staring back because I am beautiful even if I have scars and cracks I am beautiful I 
am worth it. I am Kate.